So as most of you know, this is Susie, and today we're going to do what's called an upper blepharoplasty, which is removing the extra skin from the upper eyelids. Go ahead and open. So she does not have a tremendous amount, but you can see she's got some fullness here, a little there, not quite as much. And the procedure is going to be done in the office today, which is very common. It's quick, it's easy, it has minimal downtime, and very little pain associated with it. I'm going to mark her out a little bit here. I want to find where the extra skin just stops right there in the corner because that's going to be the very lateral or outermost point of my markings and I'm going to do that right now look straight this way so it stops there it stops there and then the rest of the markings that we're going to do while she's laying down so here's Susie laying down I marked these little these areas while she was standing up so that gravity could push the skin down so I could see exactly where it stopped and now I'm going to mark the rest of the skin to be removed and actually what we do is we mark out how much skin we're going to leave behind so that she can close her eyes and have a cosmetically nice result so here I have a caliper that I use to measure out precisely how much extra skin that needs to be removed so if I measure there, there's the marking for the lower incision. And this follows the natural crease that's in her eyelid. You can see the extra skin that I'm pushing down on. I take this over to where my prior marking is and that shows me how much skin is in this area. Then I'm going to mark out the top incision. Okay. Alright, I've marked out the lower incision. Now I'm going to mark out the upper incision. So with the calipers I measured a certain distance from the eyelashes up. and Now I'm going to go from the eyebrow down. And that's going to be the top of the incision. That's your skin that we're going to remove. All that extra right there. Good. Okay, now I'm going to mark out the other side. And again, I'm measuring a certain distance up from the eyelash line. And that corresponds to a natural skin crease. This is the bottom portion of the incision that I'm marking out now. Okay, now I'm going to measure down from her eyebrow. This is the side that had less skin, so I'm measured out less to be removed. So you can see there's more on the right than the left, but that's good. But all that fullness will be removed. You can see here and here. Medication using the smallest needle that we have. Just make a small little poke in the skin and then just gently infiltrate the numbing. It's lidocaine, similar to what you get in a dentist office. And I'm just going to carry this all the way across injecting very very slow so it doesn't hurt you doing okay Susie? Mm -hmm. and then her eyelids are going to feel very heavy from being numb and from the volume of fluid that we're injecting to make them numb Inject the numbing medication into her other side. Again, very, very slowly and gently. Makes a little bubble there, which is what we want. Massage it in.
Good. To sterilize the entire area. Blotting jelly. So now her skin is sterile and we're going to surround her face with sterile towels to minimize any chance of infection. Now we're going to cover with one final sheet here. So we've done the left side. She's got stitches in the corner. She's got tiny stitches in here that you can barely see. A little bruising, but you can compare that to this side here. Go ahead and open your eyes, Susie. You can see how this is all hanging over and this has been taken out and this just swings gently right into an existing skin crease that will heal and she'll never see it. Go ahead and close. Good. So now we're done with both sides. This, the left side here has a little more swelling. I did that first, so the swelling is already settling in. Here's the right side, not too much swelling yet. You can see a little bruising right there, but again, fine little stitches all the way to the edge, and then it kind of follows a gentle curve there. And as time goes on, within the next day or so, the swelling will peak, and then it will start going down. Open for me. Open. So again, we're all done, and you can see how her little Eyelid incisions are just buried right into her eyelid crease and close. You see, sometimes they have a, because of the swelling, they don't close all the way, but that's that's temporary, just for a day or so. So the benefits you can open. So the benefits of doing the procedure in the office is it's quicker and easier than having it performed in the operating room. It's usually cheaper because there's no associated fee with the operating room and the anesthesiologist, and you don't have to undergo general anesthesia, even though it's very safe. There, um, there is a recovery period with the general anesthesia. And so they come in, have the procedure done in the office, and they go home, and they feel great. Apply a little ointment on her eyes. We do ask that you have a driver take you home because your eyes are swollen, so we don't want you driving home. We give you some ointment to put in your eyes at night, as well as some, or in the evening, as well as drops during the day to keep your eyes moisturized because they can get a little bit dry from the swelling. After a week or so, you can discontinue that. And that's it. Okay. We've done both sides here. Stitches are in place. Post-recovery care is very simple and straightforward. She can take a shower and wash the incisions tomorrow. A little ice pack on there every half hour or so for the first couple days. Most people don't even take their pain medication. We do provide it, but a lot of times, just extra strength Tylenol is sufficient. And then the stitches stay in place for one week, and once the stitches are removed, um, then they can resume their normal activity. So how was the procedure? It was so easy. Very comfortable. You don't really feel anything. A little bit of tugging, that's it. Highly recommend it.